long day. Hey everyone, what's going on? Thank you for downloading the show. Larry here. And Anthony here. What's going on? Ah, not much. Same old. You know, things haven't changed. Are you still in the continental? <laughs> or have they? Are you still in the continental United States? Uh, yes, I am in the continental United States. Um, and in fact, up until, you know, a few hours ago, I was on the same coast as you. What? <laughs> But, but you knew that. Do south, though. A little do south. A, l- a little do south, yes. <laughs> and no, it was. And no, it was not to hunt down the NES Classic. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was busy doing that today. <laughs> yeah, I know you were. So uh, we're gonna kind of just dive right into it because now, um, well, long story short, I got I finally got the NES Classic Edition, and not without. Um, um, a tiresome trip to Best Buy at about five o'clock in the morning, and um, what twenty-two degree weather right now we're having on Long Island. So that was absolutely phenomenal. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It, it was. Uh, what was it when I left Florida this morning? It was seventy something. <laughs> and when you left at a normal, reasonable hour, probably. Yes, when I when I left Florida at uh, five a.m. Oh, okay, so when you were flying home, I was online waiting for yes. this. Yes, so here's exactly <laughs> here's here, here's the whole uh, the whole deal. So that was yesterday. It was like late yesterday too. Um, uh, oh, yeah. by the way, you better tell this story really, really well because you got to top my story from Japan last week. Oh, well, then this is not going to happen because I didn't travel to Japan. <laughs> All right. So then we, sh- we shouldn't even have this podcast this week. <laughs> but, um, well, I guess I almost suffered hypothermia. Is that good? Is that good enough? Yeah, that's acceptable. All right, cool, good. So late yesterday, um, GameStop, I saw, as they've been doing – uh, you know, kind of all of a sudden posting, hey, you know, be on the lookout for the the NES Classic to be here, whether it be Walmart.com or Target. And um, they uh, Best Buy, and I heard the rumor as well before, but it was finally confirmed, Best Buy was getting more of them today. Now, today's Tuesday, December 20th, um, obviously just days before Christmas. So, as on when it was first released... You had to get online, get a ticket, and then you are able to get the system because there was only so many that they were getting. So I saw that. Now, normally I have work, but luckily, and uh, this is the most I'll say about it, I have jury duty. So that lets me go in a little bit later than I normally would have You're on jury duty? Yes. What's what's the case about? I am not allowed to talk. What's about going on? I am not allowed to talk. What's going on? What happened? I am not allowed to talk about it. Murder? Is it a murder? It's a murder, isn't it? I am not allowed to talk about it. I am not allowed to talk about it. I am not allowed. No quiero el toco about it. Uh, you're no fun. <laughs> I'll talk about it next week. Uh, hopefully, if we're done. Um, but so by uh, and the Best Buy was near. I don't know, like about fifteen twenty minutes from the courthouse. No, not even like that. Mm-hmm. So. When I timed it and figured it out, I'm like, you know what? I can hit Best Buy and then head straight to the courthouse. So at 4, 4.15 a.m. today, I woke up to prepare to go out. I, I planned on getting online at like 6, 6.30 for Best okay. Buy. They were opening at 8, 8 a.m. All right. So that, I'm up that at, seems fair. Yeah. So I'm up quarter after 4, which is usually around the time I get up anyway for, for some ungodly reason. And shower, get ready, dressed, and it's like five o'clock, and I'm like, you know what? I'm ready to go. Let me just—I can't wait. Let me go now. Hop in the car, head out. I mean, it is pitch dark. No one's on the road. It was fantastic. So as I'm driving at, for six thirty, I was expecting—I don't know—ten, fifteen people online. Um, at five o'clock, I was expecting maybe two or three. Um, when I got there. Oh, I can now I can say because I, I finally got the ticket. There was about forty five people online when I got there at about five thirty in the morning. When I pulled into the Best wow. Buy, it was when I pulled into Best Buy. It was I was shocked by how far the line already was. And honestly, at that point, I kind of for like a split second, I debated seeing how big the line is, imagining that they're going to have not that many of the NES classics. Maybe just, you know, just head back home, go back to sleep for a little while, and then head to the courthouse. But I figured I'd chance it. Um, 
I figured maybe there's about 30 people online. So I'm like, all right, I park, go over there. Now I'm bundled up. I have my sweatpants underneath my jeans. I have a sweatshirt on underneath my regular shirt because I'm heading straight to the courthouse after this. I am not changing, uh, not doing anything. Winter weather. Yes. I remember what that oh, used to feel I mean, like. I love winter weather. I don't know about you and your weird uh, heat fronts. But, hey, um, you know what? It, it it gets cold out here. Like it's going to be in the mid sixties tomorrow. Blistering sixty something degrees tomorrow. Oh, yes, no. you know what? California. And I've got my heavy coat ready to go. <laughs> well, you get ready for your uh, for your uh, windbreaker. <laughs> so I'm on lawn- windbreaker. It's a spring jacket. <laughs> So um, I finally get online, and I'm like, all right, well, we're going to wait this out. Um, and, ba- I mean, and more people definitely showed up. I would say, like, another 30 people eventually showed up, maybe even another 45, because they started wrapping around the building. And Best Buy is, I don't care where you are, Best Buys are big buildings. So um, store open at 8 o'clock. It's 22 degrees. I'm starting to lose feeling in my toes. Um, I'm just, I'm walking, pacing back and forth like a madman to keep the blood flowing. I did bring with me my trusty, dusty Comic-Con rock band stool so I can sit on while I waited for the building to open. Because if Comic-Con had done anything, it trained me to be waiting in line for long hours. Yeah, but, uh, but you know, sitting down is just going to make it worse. Aren't you going to get colder? Oh, I did, and I didn't realize that when I first brought the chair with me. <laughs> and the chair was very counterproductive because when I stopped moving, that's when I really started getting cold again. <laughs> And the, uh, you're, the extra- such a, you're such a, you're such a smart man. Oh, and the extra pair of socks I forgot to wear. It was it was a little bit of a rough one. Um, but yeah, so the, the the stool really kind of backfired on me. Um, I eventually put it back in the car. Uh, the people in front of me and behind me were nice enough to keep my spot in line as I went back to the parking lot to put the chair away because the last thing I wanted to do was start to break it down and try and get into Best Buy when I had to. So. While waiting online, I learned some things. Apparently, the first few people online got there at 8 p.m. the night before. Okay, that's just insane. I'm sorry. <laughs> they now, camped out the entire night for this thing. Yes. Now, I, Wait, I, now, now age. Were they young? Were they um, older? What, what do you, what, oh, there was. There were no children anywhere on this line. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't mean that. Like, were there? Were they parents? Trying oh, to get oh, them oh. Their no, kids? no. Were they? Okay. Oh, a majority of the people, I'm sure, are buying this system. Here's what. Here's what I figured. Um, bunch of man children. Yes. Um, Thank you. Maybe ten percent were buying them for no gifts. More. Um, you know, a few of us for for getting for ourselves. And I know there were people online buying it just to flip it before Christmas. Of and we course, go straight to eBay. And those are the people that drive me up the wall. Because it, it, look, I'm fine. You know, greed sets in. You want to buy it and then resell it. But it's just for those who are legitly looking for it. For those who would legitimately want it. It's just it's it's just getting ripped out of the hands, and then you get these people unfortunately paying two three hundred dollars for this sixty dollars system just because their kid. I get it because their kid wants it for Christmas, but exactly, and you don't want and you don't want to deprive your kid of that because then the kid's going to think that Santa hates them, uh, uh, which he does. Uh, what? <laughs> so. <laughs> you know, I can totally understand, and, and not only that, it's like I'm not, I'm not fight, I'm not arguing for the people that flip it, but I guarantee you, in a month, it's like this system's going to be everywhere. And oh, totally! Everybody's going to be able to buy it whenever they want. That's what's going to happen. I'm, I'm assuming, I'm figuring after the new year, it's definitely going to be in regular stock because the craze of the Christmas season is going to die down, and mm-hmm. um, uh, so. So and, and I'm and it's funny because I'm online talking to people. I made a couple, you know, friends. We kind of had no choice. We we're waiting there for hours, and I'm starting to get heated um, internally and louder and louder. I'm like these a holes who are probably buying this system to sell it on Best Buy. And I'm like I'm staring down the down the uh, down the line. <laughs> if I could have started pointing people out, I probably would have. Well, well, <laughs> well, if you well if you think about all those a holes that stood there from 8 p.m. the night before, it's like. 
they're they're basically paying themselves all of like what eight bucks an hour no that, <laughs> no no this. that's what i i told someone i'm like 12 hours of work to make because if you buy the system for 60 you flip it now it's getting closer to christmas they could probably get 300 dollars for it i mean you do the math so you got 240 so you're making like 20 bucks an hour basically for doing nothing okay for some people i guess that's worth it but so yeah they were it was a bunch of people, and I saw stanchions. I didn't know if I thought the people brought their own stanchions and like corded themselves off so no one would move them, but it ended up just being Best Buys just to keep everyone in line. Um, uh. I heard at 12 30 a.m., there was about 10 people oh. online. Okay. For this. And then just as time went on, people. And then it just kept growing. Um, I, and that was the thing, you know, again, this is going to be available next month in my opinion and i'm buying I it agree. F- i'm buying it for me um for no it's not a gift for anyone i could have waited i'll be 100 percent honest when i when i did it i kind of really did it just for the story just to be like yeah i waited online i got one you know you can admit it you wanted you wanted to try and top my story from last week <laughs> <laughs> no if i did that would have been like i got 10 of them and i'm giving some away on the show but i did not um the line it was very strict with the with the ticket uh, at about 7 30 is when they finally started giving out the tickets and um mm-hmm. you know if you weren't getting if you didn't get a ticket you weren't getting a system and of i was ticket number 47 out of 56 so i cut it real close um and and what's what was horrible was because it was people obviously behind number 56 and mm-hmm. like throughout the time i'm like I wish they just gave out the tickets now at like 6 a.m. So that way people aren't standing in the cold for no reason if they're not going to get a system. Well, so. then how else are you supposed to mock them when they shamefully walk back to their cars? <laughs> well, meanwhile, I think they went, but they ended up going somewhere else. They would go to, I heard him. They're going to Target. They're going to a different Best Buy. There was rumors. One guy shows up and he's like, I went to the Best Buy in Levittown, you know, a place on Long Island. Um, there was 47 of them. This is like 6 a.m., 6.30. Um, I got one and I came over here to get another one. So if some people are like, what, what? There's one at Levit- Levittown and people are calling people. I'm like, if this guy already got one in Levittown, why is he, in line? Why is he already here? And why is he telling people? I'm figuring just so people would leave the line, which no one to actually did. To get them offline. Exactly. Uh, not, only, not only that, but why You know, why is Best Buy in Levittown open at 6 a.m.? No, no, no. I, I, exa- yeah. No, that, you're right. That was the other thing. I think later on, it turns out they gave out the tickets at 6 a.m., um, which is kind of cool because then you're not waiting around. Because once you got the ticket, you basically had like a three-hour window. No, the ticket said you have a three-hour window. But once the tickets were given out... People started leaving the line because now they're guaranteed. They were leaving the line to go to the Dunkin' Donuts to hit the bathroom or to go get right. something to eat or something or just to warm up in the car. And um, it, there was, it was pretty um, diligent. We were looking for cutters. We really didn't see any cutters. Um, a couple people started getting a little loud when they thought there were some people cutting in line, but it wasn't so much of a problem. Uh, let me How ask devastated you, were the people that got turned away? That's the thing. I really didn't look at them, but when I, I, I did see a group of people just walk past me, just very upset. Uh, but to be fair, they also weren't waiting as long as we were. So I think you know, the further you get back on the line, the later those people got on. Well, of course. And then even when we had the tickets, there was still people going up like, are there any tickets left? Do you have any tickets left? The guy's like, what, are you kidding me? No. It's like 8 o'clock. <laughs> And then some people, the funny part was it was a group of guys who got off the line. I thought they didn't have tickets, and then they left. They come back, and it turns out they did have tickets, but they went to Target to try and get those Hatchimals. Oh, uh, yeah, the other the other elusive gift that you can't <laughs> find anywhere. So I've been looking for those all month. And I think people were online looking for Hatchimals as well, like on Best Buy line. Mm. Uh, and I didn't see any in the store. But... Um, yeah, and that's why I wouldn't sell those things. They why may. would they sell hatchimals? No, they, they would. They sell toys. Well, oh, okay. like electronic. I, I would consider that an electronic. Toy. Sure. So, um, so yeah. So then the long, long waiting was well, well worth it. Finally got my ticket. Went inside. They had them sitting right there. They had the line quartered off just for us. Basically, you go in, you buy it. Um, 
they didn't have any accessories. Like there was no extra controller they were selling. They didn't have any of the extended cables or anything like that. Um, because the damn thing I think has like a two foot cable or something like that for the yeah, controller. Yeah, it's a super short cable. Yeah. But you can order the cables Which online. Though. I those did. Are, yeah, those are available. I went on eleven bucks for a ten foot cable. Game on. So. I Apparently, there's a way to. There, I I heard that there's a way for like a. Uh, I want to say a PS4 controller you can use for it or something. I don't know. I read it online somewhere. I don't think so because the way it plugs in, it's a special plug. I uh, I read something where there's an existing controller that you can get to work on it. I I don't know exactly what it was though. I can't remember. But no. look it up. Yeah. That looks beautiful. I'm showing the box. Love there it. it is. Showing the box. Yes, I'm I'm yeah. very jealous. What? <laughs> To be you fair, know, I, I'm usually the one on the other side of this going, oh, why couldn't I get it? It's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially when there was a certain somebody who found a way to get you okay. a mini Famicom you know what? in Japan. Hold on. By, by, by scamming the system. Wait, wait a minute. Well, <laughs> well, they weren't giving out tickets over in Japan. so <laughs> No, they weren't, but they were only giving one per customer, and I somehow found a way to get you one. Well, if you would have flown up from Florida. My, my, Look, look, my 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 uh, my charisma and my you know unique ability to point properly <laughs> and not speak a word of Japanese and yell in English. Too many Famicom. Famicom, Famicom two. <laughs> <laughs> oh I didn't even God. do that. I held up. I held up fingers. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy spoke English, and he was clearly handing out one ticket per person. So <laughs> that wasn't happening, unfortunately. I, I, I would have. Trust me. But I'll tell you this much. So we go inside, and they have the boxes, you know, just behind the counter. Um, yeah. And, you know, just – and some of the – and they had, like – they were they had it – once you were inside, they were quick. They had, like, six or seven registers open. They were, they were running through it. Um, um, there was one – NES Classic Edition box, though, that was damaged. Oh. It was sitting on the shelf, too. Like, the the um, like like the side, like here, this side. Yeah. It was, like, like caved the corner. in. Yeah. Completely caved in. And I'm looking at the cashier, and I'm like... The last one was going to get that. No, like that's what I'm wondering. And, like, I'm wondering if they actually had 57 tickets, but only gave out 56. Uh, maybe. Because or, whoever got that box or, is going to be pissed. Yeah, well, that person is going to be like, if they're not selling it, it's like, just be happy you're getting the damn thing. And and I honestly, I sat there, I'm looking at the cashier, I'm like, oh, you got a broken box up there. She's like, yeah. I'm like, you know, come on, like, I'll take that too. Like, I, I, you know, damaged goods, just give it to me a you little cheaper. Been, you should have just asked. You should have been like, are you, are you, you know, are you selling that one or no? <laughs> you know what happened? They took the ticket, they, they, they tore it up so i couldn't be able to use it again like i kind of wanted to keep the ticket as well but um yeah 50, they were not budging 50, on that as i say 57 is also a very odd number it sounds to me like the employees kept three i bet they got 60 of them it's possible i mean technically i mean i've worked hey, in retail you know you're perk, not really supposed there. to do that for like those special things but yeah, that doesn't mean that they don't do it so i was just gonna was, say to me that's the perk of being an employee there because when we were there at like i don't know it was like quarter to six and someone was walking out of the best buy with a refrigerator <laughs> and the place doesn't open till 8 a.m so and the guy either was the slowest robber in the world <laughs> who was getting away with it in front of everybody or just you know an employee who needed a refrigerator and bought one so well, you know sometimes you just need a fridge yes yes that is true so then uh yeah so got it Got it in the car, left it there, went straight to court, and for some reason they left the heat on all night. So then I'm sitting in the room with the sweatpants on, underneath the dungarees, with the sweatshirt on, underneath a proper shirt that I was going to wear. <laughs> I was sweating profusely when I got there. I was able to take the shirt, you know, the sweatshirt off, but like, where am I yeah. going to put my, like, all right, they weren't sweatpants. They're my pajama bottoms. Where am I going to put my pajama bottoms in a room full of jurors and a courtroom to not make it look weird where I end up becoming the defendant? <laughs> well, I mean, at that point, you just excuse yourself to the restroom and you take the damn pajama bottoms off. And I didn't know where to put them. Nobody needs, nobody, need, no, but nobody needs to see what they are. <laughs> so put them on your seat. Put them on your seat and sit on them. Needless to say, I was sweaty when I left. <laughs> That's great. One sweaty juror. <laughs> That's who I, that that's who I want listening to my story if I'm in court. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, so, there we go, folks. 
That's it. The NES. Uh, and the you got computer. the two for. So, and I haven't. Neither one of them are open yet, folks. Neither one of them. Is yeah, open I, I haven't opened my Famicom yet either. We're gonna wait for the Famicom. Do you want me to bust this one open? See what's in. Let's see what's you, all about. Uh, you know, I, I, I'll leave that entirely up to you. I just know that uh, I pro- I will not be. I'm pretty confident I will not be getting my hands on that oh. classic NES until January, and I'm perfectly okay with that, oh, considering okay. the fact that I don't think I'm going to be home until what? January. <laughs> You're busy. It's okay. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll save that. I'll do that live on Facebook when we're done. So. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, save it. Make it. Fa- Actually, you know what you should do. You should. You should open it on Christmas morning on Facebook <laughs> when nobody's watching. No, because I'll be at my. I'll be at my parents. I'll admit. Maybe I'll bring that. I'll bring the two of them to my parents' house. Well, have them wrap you, it. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say self wrap them. <laughs> And you can put on you can put on a little tag to Larry from Santa, <laughs> and then that way when you're wearing your cute little uh, pajama bottoms uh, but, that you wore to court. But I'm wearing. And... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but if Santa ends up getting me one too, it's going to be kind of weird because he can't return anything from Santa. That's a very good point. So if Santa gets you one, you happen to know a poor boy who doesn't have one yet. <laughs> so. And you already know his address in Glendale, California. <laughs> so. And the reason why I, d- I know that you know my address in Glendale, California is because I got your Christmas card today. Oh, you did? Oh, thank you. All right. Hey. Well, I got no very nice, a very nice patriotic Santa. As always. Um, as right. always. Um, Although, what happened, to, what happened to your um, – you didn't do a photo this year. Usually, you do some stupid photos. I for did your, do uh, a couple photos for a couple years, but when it's like two weeks out and all of a sudden I realized I didn't mail anything yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. The creative lazy juices cards, don't really flow. Lazy cards come out. Yeah, pretty much. Um. Did you get mine? I was gonna say I wish I could say the same for yours, but I got for some reason no mail today. So Oh, okay. Mine are I I mailed mine I think over a week ago, but you know, they are okay. traveling cross country. <laughs> you didn't mail from Japan? <laughs> uh now that would have been awesome. You, well if that's the case it would have been Merry Christmas in February. <laughs> <laughs> so um but well when I get my card I'm looking forward to it, so Yeah, you better. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, that's, that's a good point. That, that's a good point. Knowing your parents, you may wind up opening up a, a classic NES Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> if they were able to find this thing before I was, I would be quite impressed. Oh, I'll die laughing. <laughs> I wouldn't put it, but I wouldn't put it past them. Probably, probably. Was, you know, now that they go, they got all their shopping. Yeah, and I get to bring it with me too. Oh, that's what I also ordered. I ordered a um from Amazon because after I picked it up. The extender cable, and they sell like a, a carrying case for this, mm-hmm. specific for the NES classes. So it is definitely portable. I don't think not so much for the Famicom though. I'll have to check that one out. But in any event, that's pretty much what happened there, and um, yeah. So I'll probably break that open a little bit if I don't fall asleep in a little while. Well, yeah, I think. Wait, I thought you were going to hold off on opening it. The NES. Yeah. No, I'm gonna hold up on the Famicom. Uh, NES okay. Classic. You're lucky I you haven't opened it already. I, I, I told you, unwrap it on Christmas Day. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought That's I thought we I'm were saying. doing what's unwrap called it the on bit. Christmas Day. I apologize. Find yourself some nice eight bit Christmas music to play in the background. Oh huh. yes, turning okay. Japanese. <laughs> no, not turning Japanese. Oh, you need, okay. you know, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Oh man, imagine that in, 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 in eight bit in media um, format. You know. It, it, it'll just help, you know, add uh, add some more, you know, flavor <laughs> to the retro gamers. <laughs> we'll see. See if I can wait that long. <laughs> yeah, you can. The minute we're done, the minute we're done recording this, you know, you're going to be. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'll be on the lookout for a Facebook Live uh, update. So, um, other than but that, a the- very, but a very good story, and I'm very happy that you got it. Uh, I'm much happier that you didn't wind up with a mini Virtual Boy because I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome, a mini virtual boy. Don't even start. You will you not. Need, you, you will not you knock need, me down. First, first off, you don't even need one because they, for, they. I don't think they made thirty games for it. So <laughs> <laughs> here's a mini virtual boy with all two games. What sixteen? Thank you. I'm sorry. All sixteen <laughs> games. <laughs> and here's and when they sell it to you, they automatically give you the refund. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> boo! Hiss, hiss. Ah, uh, so oh. true, so true. So with that, um, then otherwise, I've been playing Super Mario Run on the. Oh, how's that? And actually, it's kind of fun to be honest with you. Uh, it comes yeah. out on Android next year, <laughs> but on iOS now. So 
That's okay. I, 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 again, I could put it on my phone and still not have time to play it. <laughs> but you can play with one hand. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, I, I was. You, wait a minute. What are you doing with the there other? There you hands? go. I was waiting for that one. All right, that, that's a double. I was waiting for a homer on that one. <laughs> oh God. And with that, uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up. You have anything else? So, any stories for you? Anything uh, happening? I know you've been traveling around, so not like you can do it. No, I mean, you know. Everybody knows. Everybody knows my stories from Japan, and um, I just got back from Orlando. Yep. Um, like I said earlier in the podcast, uh, again for work. Mm-hmm. Sure. And uh, uh, sadly, there there was nothing uh, retro gaming to report while I was there. I was um, I was pretty much working until like one, two o'clock in the morning every night. Uh, for you <laughs> oh, know, wow. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty intense, but. Um, it was a very successful trip, and everything went off without a hitch. And if uh, anybody wants to know what I'm talking about, you can go to my Facebook page, if you know me, uh, <laughs> and see the and see the video that I posted of what was a very intense four month project. And you know what? I will. I'm going to watch that as soon as we're done because I saw a little highlight of it, but I didn't get a chance to watch it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was actually. It was actually very, very well done, and we're getting a lot of great reviews for it. So. Good. Um, yeah, so we're very happy. Very good. Yay. Yay. Now I just need an NES Classic, and everything will be right with the world. <laughs> Soon. Soon. Little Christmas. Soon. Maybe get it for a little Christmas. The, I'll get it for a little Christmas. Or <laughs> I'll just like find a little kid in the street who's holding one and you take it from Do what you have to do at this point. You know what? There That's is right. no wrong. There are no rules. No, no. There is none. No rules in the animal kingdom. So... All right, yeah, is that it? Yeah, that's all. That's pretty much happened there. So, okay, yeah, well, next, next next week will be our Christmas episode, uh, yes. or po- or day after Christmas episode when we uh, when right, we Christmas open up Sunday. our mini Famicoms. Yes, woo! And then we do our best to try and interpret it. <laughs> that's going to be the fun part. The first <laughs> game we should play is one of those Japanese only games. I'm thinking that sumo game. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm down to play that sumo game. <laughs> And, and then people can just listen to us, like oh my try and God. figure out can what the controls imagine? are. Forget about it. It's gonna be t- it's two buttons at a crosshair, and we won't be able to figure out how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> be screaming into the little microphone on the on the second. Controller. No, that that that's just for Zelda. Yeah, it's true. What's up with that? That's the thing I don't like. The Famicom comes with two controllers, which are probably hardwired to it. And the NES mm-hmm. Classic only comes with one. A boo. Well, beca- yeah, because they know we'll pay for the extra one. That is true, and I cannot wait. They they hate us. That's all. The <laughs> Japanese hate us. We bombed them twice. It's okay. So with that being uh, said, uh, that's just wrong. We're gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna jingle all the way and uh, get ready here, folks. So uh, until next week, I like how we took a couple holidays off, but like one of the biggest ones of the year. We're gonna keep going. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, well, I mean, it just fits. It just fits in with our, you know, with our podcast. I mean, retro gaming. You know, it's you know. You know, Christmas, toys, gifts, that type of stuff. It, it just makes sense. It does. And with that, we're going to call it a night, folks. So follow us everywhere, especially on Facebook, Retro Gamer Podcast, Retro Gamers Podcast. Um, till then, catch you next time. Later. <laughs>